today's lecture is about the properties of the cardiac muscle cardiac muscle is involuntary in nature involuntary in nature means it doesn't follow our power of will okay it contracts by its own the next property is it is start working before our birth in the womb of mother and keeps on working till our death the third property is the morphological property or the structural property of the cardiac muscle next is the mechanical property then the metabolic property and the last is the electrical property of the cardiac muscle and in this lecture i will deliver about the morphological property or structural property of the cardiac muscle so this is the diagram of the cardiac muscle or muscle fibers cardiomyocytes these these are the cardiomyocytes and they these cardiomyocytes are actually connected to the branches one unit or one muscle fiber is connected to the another muscle fiber through the branches so that the electrical conduction whenever come to the one uh, one muscle fiber it conduct very fast or transmit very fast to the another and to the next muscle fiber so first property structural property of the cardiac muscle is they are branched the next is the they are striated it means they have linear striation and this striation develops due to presence of actin myosin myofibrils they, they are the contractile tissue that are present in the cardiac muscle the next property morphological property of cardiac muscle is the new they have one nucleus and this nucleus is placed in the center of the muscle fiber so this is the next property of the cardiac muscle another property the sarcolemma that cover the muscle fibers get folded extremely folded uh, between the two muscle fibers and this is known as this is known as gap junction okay and uh, when we see this gap junction closely then it appears like this this is one muscle fiber this is another muscle fiber and this is sarcolemma it get folded here it get folded here and between them there is gaps these green portions are the actually gap in between them and these gap junctions and uh, uh, these gap junctions Uh, causes uh, uh, makes bridges between these two cells and because of these gap junction the excitation wave passes fastly to the another cells so because of the presence of these gap junctions or intercalated disc and presence of the branches the, there is fast conduction of the electrical impulses Uh, from one muscle fiber to the another and the all muscle fibers and these all muscle fibers contract simultaneously and work work like a one unit and this function of the myocardium where they work like a one unit this is known as syncytia or syncytium okay so this is another this is the morphological properties first is this uh, they are unique nucleus a nucleus present in the uh, in the center of the cell the cells are connected to another cell through the intercalated disc intercalated disc is actually folded sarcoplasm and in in the intercalate when we see the intercalated disc there is a gap junction in between them which causes the interchange of the ionic ions from one cell to the another cell and there is branch presence of branches within the cells and there is stria present in the muscle fibers so this is the uh, properties or morphological properties of the cardiac muscle when we see in the light microscope this portion of the muscle or one muscle fiber when we see uh, the one muscle fiber in the light microscope what we can see this is the figure that explain the uh, light microscopic appearance of the one muscle fiber okay in this 
the sar this green portion is actually sarcoloma which covers the whole muscle fiber and this uh, sarcoloma invaginate inside and makes a tubular structure which are known as t tubule and it connects the acf and icf okay and it opens into bag like structure and this bag like stru structure is known as cistern cisterns actually stores the glycogen and calcium that comes from the ecf and this cistern is again connected to the longitudinal tubules and this longitudinal tubules have certain channels certain calcium channels which only get open when there is excitation wave that comes to them then they get open the another feature we can see here in the light microscopic appearance of the muscle fiber is the muscle uh, there is myo presence of the myofibrils some tubular structures that that are present in the uh, muscle cells and they are known as myofibrils these uh, these are the myofibrils they are actually contractile tissues they are contractile tissues and uh, this red structure are the mitochondria and nucleus is always placed central in the cell so this is the light microscopic appearance of the cardiac muscle fiber when we enlarge this myofibril or this contractile tissue it will appear like this it shows some certain uh, dark area and certain light areas the center area is relatively dark area and this is known as a band and in the center of this a band there is relatively lighter area and this relatively lighter area is known as h zone this is known as h zone and between this h zone there is a mid line which is known as m line it is known as m line okay on the either side of this a band there is a lighter zone and this is known as i band and this i band is end at the zigzag line which is known as z line now when we say this this unit is actually known as sarcomere unit and there are so many sarcomere units are present within one myofibrils or one contractile tissue when we see this sarcomere in the electron microscope then at the center there is a thick filament which is known as myosin filament and hundreds of the myosin myosin filament present in one thick filament okay thick this thick uh, the center zone is made up of thick filament which is known as myosin uh, thick filament and there are hundreds of myosin molecule present within the one thick filament and uh, this thick filament is surrounded by the thin filament which is known as actin filament and the i band is made up of the actin filament and the a band is made up of overlapping area of the uh, myosin and actin and h zone is made up of the area where there is presence of only myosin filament this is the structure of myosin thick filament or myosin filament it has uh, it has uh, hundreds of molecule, uh, molecules my, myosin molecules and one myosin molecule made up of two two portion one is the globular head and second is the tail portion and the tail portion is uh, uh, twisted is actually formed by the twisted chain and uh, they are arranged one direction along one half one direction along the one half and another direction along the opposite half now the thin filament thin filament is actin filament and when we see it in enlarge now about the actin filament which are surround so which surrounds the myosin filament and actin filaments are actually thin filament when we see the structure of actin filament in the electron microscope then then uh, it shows there are some active sites present within within the actin filament and these active sites are covered by another protein 
molecule which is known as tropomyosin this green line is showing another filament that is known as tropomyosin which covers the active sites of the uh, active sites of the actin filament now this tropomyosin is connected with another globular unit which is known as troponin filament and this ha it has three sites uh, t sites i site and c site t site is attached to the tropomyosin okay and m site is attached to uh, uh, is uh, 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 is uh, actually um, i site is inhibit the active site between the myosin and the actin and another site is the c site which is the calcium binding site so troponin has calcium binding site